and welcome to Global Japan. This time, we take you out of this world to see how Japanese technology can help save lives. Another invention prevents the spread of disease. We begin with this ventilator for respiratory patients that can be made by 3D printer anywhere. Yes, even in space. It's made from only four printed parts. The designs for them were transmitted to a 3D printer aboard the International Space Station, showing you can make the ventilator during long space missions. Joining us from Niigata, Japan, is one of its creators, Dr. Naoyuki Ishikita. Doctor, this invention is space technology adapted for Earth, right? From an anesthesia kit for astronauts. The roots of our project is the making the anesthesia machine. But at this time, this corona pandemic, uh, we need a ventilator. So we just separated my system. And why is this ventilator revolutionary? Mine is pneumatic. So it doesn't need electricity. No. It just needs air pressure. Right. A simple foot pump and air compressor or air and oxygen is sufficient to operate the ventilator. And you want to offer it free to the world once regulators approve it. Why? Why not? Because this is the natural thing to help the people. So if I share the data, we can save lives. Thanks, doctor. There's another invention also aimed at helping more than astronauts. Made in Hiroshima, it's a touchless screen with 3D images that float in the air, and you can manipulate them with your fingers. Called ASCA 3D, it projects a liquid crystal display in midair, like a hologram. It's already being used in museums, showrooms, and conventions. That means no wear and tear, and no transmitting any diseases between users. It was a bullet train ride that inspired ASCA 3D's creator. During a business trip, I was looking through the window of the Shikansen and I saw the world in 3D. I had the intuition that I could stock the light information in that 10 millimeter thick window. It would actually be possible to materialize the aerial imaging. The potential is only limited by one's imagination. Cinemas, public places where a lot of people gather, ticket machines in train stations, ATMs, cars or in factories' dirty environments to avoid touching touch panels. And Mr. Otsubo says, why not in the window of a Shinkansen? That's all for now on Global Japan. From all of us on the Euronews team, we say arigato, thanks for watching, and see you next time.